Hello Queens, welcome back. It is Queen of Queen She Me and I would just like to thank everyone so much for your love and support on my new series called Mantra Mondays. If you have not checked out Mantra Mondays, you need to get your life. I will have a link down below. Um, each week I will release a mantra for each and every one of us to carry with us throughout the week, which is also a form of prayer. Um, you know, naturally when we're feeling challenging times throughout the week when we need an inspiration, motivation, or encouragement. So I just really had that placed on my heart a few months ago i have been holding off on it and finally just finally got the nerve y'all and i finally sat down and recorded it and you guys really have taken a liking to it so thank you guys so much because this is something that i do for self-care you know self-love for mental wellness and clarity and to just make sure that you know i'm keeping myself protected and just being the best that i can be because we can all be a little down at times and sometimes we just need a small short quick prayer to carry with us so if you're into that if that's your vibe if that's your flow definitely check that out down below and make sure that you are subscribed simple as that and become a part of notification game by turning on your notification bell and then you'll be notified when I upload new content okay today I am sharing with you guys how I detangle my natural hair this is a video I've wanted to do for some time and after looking back over some of my old notebooks of ideas it was one of those ones I kept rewriting so I'm like you know what let me just go ahead and do that today so um, as you can suspect, I have already gone ahead, washed my hair, have done all of that good stuff. And if you're wondering where this bonnet is from, you guys, I love my freaking bonnet. This is from Sassy Bonnet Creations. And I met her two years ago, actually, at the Mississippi Natural Hair Expo when we went in 2017. So um, she's definitely on Instagram. She hand makes all of these. This is actual silk. Um, I can't think of what kind of silk it is, but I'll put it across the screen here. And I've had my first one now for two years, and I just decided to reinvest into a new one. And, um, yeah, I love it, you guys. So definitely check her out. So, like I was saying, we're going to be talking about detangling. This is not going to be a long video because I'm just simply going to show you guys how I detangle my natural hair. So, pretty much what you want to do is just make sure that, again, your hair is um, damp. But if you are afraid that your hair may be just like drenched, soaking wet still from, you know, your wash day, do like I do. Have a cotton shirt around so that way you're actually able to squeeze that excess water out and then you can proceed to go ahead and detangle your hair. So, I'm just simply going to work on this one section right here and I'm going to show you guys the different tools that you can use to actually detangle your hair. Now, for the most part, my hair is not highly, highly tangled once I get out of the shower because I'm typically finger detangling while in the shower. So I actually insert a clip right here to show you guys how I actually finger detangle my hair. It's pretty, pretty simple. Make sure that your hair is soaking wet. Make sure that you're using a product that also aids in detangling your hair and has a lot of slip and you'll be good to go. And I find that when I make sure that I really, really detangle my hair by using the water in the shower, it just helps my wash that just move along a lot quicker, especially when I'm not filming for my YouTube channel. Alright you guys, so this is my hair freshly washed and I'm simply just going to undo this twist and I'm just going to put this section away. So that way we can show you, well I can show you guys how I detangle my hair. So as you can see here, my hair is pretty much pretty good and detangled, right? Yeah, my hair is pretty good and detangled. So what I like to do is to use a detangler brush. And one of my favorites is from Texture Pro. This is one of my backup ones. This is just in a gold one. But this is their detangler brush. Yeah, the Tangler Brush for Textured Hair. These are like $10 at Sally's. I love these. One of the greatest investments I have made into my natural hair journey is just actually incorporating a tool. I was never a big fan of tools when I initially started my natural hair journey, but more and more along the way, my hair started to get longer, thicker, coarser, and I was needing more assistance on my wash day. And I was like, honey, I got to invest in a detangler brush. And so the first one I got, I actually wanted a giveaway. And then I just went back and purchased another one another one and so now this is like number three and that's number four so what i like about this brush is that you can just use it on wet hair so you just take the brush and i hold it like this in my hand and i always make sure that my hand holds my hair so that way i'm not just letting my hair just go all over the place so just make sure that you have your hand or your hair rather between your thumb and your index finger here and you just want to hold it tight a little bit and just 
start at the ends and I always start at the ends and I love this tool it just really helps with making detangling a breeze you know of course you don't want to force it if it doesn't want to honestly go through but this brush works wonders so this is one of the tools that I use to actually detangle my hair and again you just start at the ends and then you work your way up but because again I made sure that my hair was pretty much detangled in the shower I was good to go <laughs> And then this is how your hair should look fully detangled you should be able to actually stretch your hair out and good god y'all it's growing <laughs> okay so the next way i like to detangle my hair is using a wide tooth comb you guys usually see me using this pink wide tooth comb that i purchased from sephora this comb was under ten dollars but i believe it was about eight dollars total but it was such a well invested you know comb like a thing to purchase because one i didn't even know sephora carried you know wide tooth combs like this and i don't even know why i would think they wouldn't but i mean yeah they did so this is my favorite one to use now you can also use other wide tooth combs as well um this is my actual first wide tooth comb this one right here um from oh my gosh like when i was transitioning so this comb has been around for like almost six years because i had it even before i started the natural hair journey so i just going to show you as long as you're using a tool to where it has wide teeth on it to where your natural hair your curls can actually pass through it easy without it getting snagged tugged on to create any further breakage then yeah you're perfect you're set to go now something like this I would not necessarily use to detangle unless say you're doing like a particular set and style so naturally they do have the smaller teeth here but I do not use this side I honestly only use this one here and again that's only from doing some kind of special parting or something which is super duper rare for me in my case because again i'm a low maintenance natural i don't like to do a whole lot of extraness to my natural hair so yeah i would just only recommend using this half of the comb and definitely not this half now unless you're wearing protective styles and you're installing then yeah definitely have fun with this comb because i'm pretty sure you would love to use it to actually make sure that the you know actual weave itself is actually detangled like you would like it but for the most part this is my bay here so what i like to do is just use this really and truly for like larger sections so say like this section here and what you want to do is again grab it at the ends and you don't ever want to start here i mean you can if you want to just just be real but it really and truly should start your ends because usually where your hair is usually tangled matted napped up at anyways um and sometimes it will be at the root but it works a lot easier starting at your ends so Again, you just want to place your hair, the section of hair here between your thumb and your index finger. And then you just simply want to just begin combing. And then you want to move your hand up along the section. As you guys see, I'm putting the comb first. But you actually want to put your hand right where you're wanting to comb. So I'm really and truly wanting to comb this section here. Right here to here since I've already combed this out. So I'm going to take the comb and just glide it through there and as you can see it works a lot easier versus you starting up here at the top of the section and then trying to force it down but again like I stated I detangled my hair in the shower and that just works best for me because when I get to the setting style part I'm not and I shouldn't have to do a whole lot of detangling because I did that to begin with in the shower and I didn't even know I had dropped that section there y'all wasn't even gonna tell me <laughs> But yeah, so you just want to do that, y'all. So get you some good tools. Invest in them because you're going to need them for all of the rest of your natural hair journey. So don't be too cheap in getting tools. I mean, you know, do, do your research because some things I feel are just not necessary to have as a part of your hair regimen. But for some people, it may be. So, you know, do your research, do your homework, and find what works for you another thing is to like say for example um you're just really wanting to use your fingers like i stated earlier for in the shower simply just make sure your hair is saturated wet um or you can use a spray leave-in like this one i'm using today is from allocate the lemongrass leave-in and spritz your ends spritz the length of your hair and then simply just use the praying hand method this is coined by Yolanda Renee. And you just do the praying hand method, you guys. 
and that will actually help to distribute the product and then you can begin to finger the tangle now everyone fingers the tangle differently i'm not going strand by strand i simply run my fingers starting at the ends of the hair and then i work my way up gently but a lot of times if i know my roots are not tangled then i'll just start up at the top and then i'll just run my fingers through now you will get some shed hair sometimes while doing this so that's why i recommend doing this in the shower because then it can get all caught you know collect at the drain then you can just pick it all up at one time but as you guys can see i only had like a couple of shed hairs if you can see and my hair is fully detangled and i can start the set and style process for my wash day all right, queen so i hope you guys enjoyed that quick easy video i know this isn't like something where i usually come a little bit more made up i just wanted to come to you guys today to share with you how to detangle your natural hair and for me specifically i do have type 3 c 4 a natural hair and um, my hair is not super duper thick but it is thick to the point to where i do have to have some kind of techniques in place to actually detangle my hair so that i'm not spending all day on my wash day all right so again get you a wide tooth comb honey or get you a detangler brush i know a lot of people love the um felicia leatherwood um detangler brush because a lot of people who have a lot of kinky 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 hair who are really type 4 kinky would really probably prefer that one over this one but i find this works perfect on type 4 period because my girlfriend uses it on her hair and then of course you can pick you up like some form of like wide tooth comb again just like this one here and there's so many other tools you can use as well to help with detangling your hair you guys but really and truly use your fingers use water and if possible try to just stick to the wide tooth comb okay so i love you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today queens and i'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys Mwah.